Hello everyone, my name is Master Blake, and today I'll be showing you how to make subtitles like PewDiePie. So we can be free. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is open up Sony Movie Studio, Sony Vegas, any Sony product will really work. Um, I'm sorry for all the Final Cut Pro users and any other software. This tutorial is mainly for Sony, Sony products like Sony Movie Studio and Sony Vegas. So if you don't have it, you can go out and try a free trial um, for 30 days on three of their products. I'm pretty sure it'll work. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description so you can go check that out. So what we have here is your audio clip. Now this audio clip um, is the one you're going to be want to adding subtitles to. Here you go. Hello everyone, my name is Master Blake, and today I'll be showing you how to make subtitles like PewDiePie. Alright, so that is the clip you want to add to, or whatever uh, long clip. It can be from 5 minutes to 10 minutes, it'll just, it'll just take a lot longer. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can do this with um, any uh, Sony movie studio, Sony Vegas, anything like that. So, drag in a simple legacy text with this on. You'll see this. Um, now you can just change it to you want. You want. I'll say hello. You can use really any font you want, but for this example, I'll be using the Feast of Flesh texture. So, um, just make it Feast of Flesh. Place it down below, so then it's actually called a subtitle, and. This is the effects. This adds an outline so the text is not bare and it looks better. Now add a width, and the feather should be a little like around here. So then the make it black so it's the outline is black. So right now it is just hello and it's not animated and it's just hello. And when I first started, I thought it was just gonna be um oh I'm gonna have to drag and make every single little thing in one of these. Click sync sync cursor to media timeline so then when you drag along it is your clip now what you're going to want to do is turn it on hello everyone my hello everyone my is my name is mash blake everyone and today i'll be showing you how to make sub so i usually just find a place and um once you have this animated set on, it it should automatically keyframe for you. So when you um, so when you type something different in, it'll automatically keyframe a place right here. Now you can drag these keyframes along the line to make it longer or shorter. I mean, uh, where when it appears. But um, right now, um, I'm just going to make it so it appears right next to it. Right when I say hello, everyone. Now make sure. It looks a lot better when your words are singular and it's not hello everyone at the first start because a singular word uh, makes it look less crowded and cluttered and it makes it look a little better now you can see that there's a delay hello here everyone. so this is the part where adjusting comes in you're gonna have to just move it down a little bit and edit it until it matches the word hello everyone my name is master blake Hello everyone, my name is Master Blake. Hello everyone. So I think it could be moved down a little more. Hello everyone, my name is There we go, that looks about right. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. And then we can just add more keyframes. Some tips I would like to add is um when you're starting a new phrase, I would uh I would suggest making it less cluttered. So like just canceling this one out and starting a new one. Because it makes it look a lot less cluttered, and if you have to change something, it's not as difficult. So, um, to get a new text box, you're going to want to copy your first one. But make sure your first one is not animated, so then you can have an easier time animating all your other boxes. Alright, so I'll speed up to the end when I finish these subtitles. I'll show you some extra finishing touches after that, so then you're... Subtitles will be edited and ready to go. All right, so we do have our final finish. Uh, so we do have our finished cut of the subtitles. Um, right now, my name is Master Blake, and today I'll be showing you how to make subtitles like Pewdiepie. 
So, PewDiePie, if you look at his montages, he doesn't only have text. He adds uh, special effects, uh, shaking, and, um, and pictures. That's what I'm going to add now. So, if you don't have enough room for two images at once, add another video track, and you can drag that picture onto your a new video track, which will make it go over. Showing you how to make subtitles like PewDiePie. Now, that's not what you want, so you're going to have to go into Video Offend FX. I'll close that out. And this is what you want. Now, what you really want to do is zoom out from that, because your main focus is going to be your subtitles and... Uh, your background, so put it in a place you like. Uh oh. See, we are accidentally keyframed it. Let's just delete this keyframe and set this to the normal. So then the whole thing Titles will be in. like PewDiePie. Okay, here we go. So now, um, like, like PewDiePie. So we can like PewDiePie. Like PewDiePie. Like PewDiePie. Like now we can just put this here. Just like PewDiePie. So, we can so once you just do that, you just edit this out. Like PewDiePie. So once you add your picture, it looks nice and everything like that. Um, your subtitle should be done. If you want to add any special effects like shaking or spinning, go to Video Offend Effects again, and then you can keyframe how it spins. Like at two seconds or three, four seconds, you want it to move up and spin. Now it's half spin. And today, I'll be showing you how to make subtitles like PewDiePie. So, we can so you can mess around. So you can mess around with this um, floating every day. I'll be showing you how to make subtitles. So you can mess around with that as long as you like. I'm just gonna keep it uh, normal for now. So if you want to just move it back and if you messed up, just delete the keyframe you've assigned. And everything should be back to normal. And today I'll be showing you how to make subtitles like PewDiePie. You how to showing you how to I'll be showing you how to make subtitles like PewDiePie. So once you got everything done, your subtitles should be set really. Um so once you have your finished product, it should be uh, good enough to make a movie, export it to your hard drive, and choose MP4 because that is the best quality you can get. And that should be it. Um, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please leave a like if you uh, if this helped you, and subscribe for more content created by me. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.